Uh, very importantly, we would like to make this as relevant to your particular interest as possible. So um, if you want to provide feedback uh, afterwards to um, uh, Elizabeth uh, Fanjev and, um, and, and Keith uh, uh, Rubin in such a way that we can continue to optimize uh, the uh, presentations for your, for your, um, to, to answer your questions. Uh, uh, the next topic um, is um, one that I, I'm very uh, familiar with uh, because I'm a cardiologist, is the cardiovascular field. And um, you will hear from um, really the authorities uh, in the um, in area of, um, of uh, devices, stem cells, etc. I suffice to say that um, uh, well in the 80s and the 90s, uh, the big thing in the cardiovascular field was the development of drugs. And there's still some of that going on. Um, the, um, uh, the device and the stem cell work is uh, really um, uh, taking up uh, even more rapidly than it did in the past. And, uh, and, and, and the, the fundamental goals of the field are to uh, provide um, uh, personalized treatments that are the most adapted to the particular needs of the patients, but also uh, aim for um, uh, things that work uh, uh, well and are as um, non-invasive as possible. And, and uh, the, the big shift in the field um, over the past 10 years has been um, from a, a, going from procedures that were rather uh, uh, challenging to patients to procedures that can be performed on um, uh, frail elderly folks. And so um, uh, you will hear quite a bit about that and um, it's really a delight to, to uh, introduce um, uh, this group. Um, uh, we have um, uh, uh, Bill Neal, who is the uh, Executive Dean for um, uh, uh, Clinical Affairs uh, for the entire uh, medical school and health system. Also, CMO of the health system, uh, you have, um, and uh, he's the uh, father of the uh, procedure that we do in um, patients with uh, what we call a st elevation myocardial infarction. So, it, this is an individual that has probably saved millions of lives because of his work. Quite rare uh, to find around, but um, that's for Bill O'Neill. Um, we have uh, David So, who is, who is um, uh, his official role um, uh, at UM is a, a chief medical information officer, but um, he's also a great cardiologist who has done a lot of work in the area of um, cardiovascular genomics and uh, uh, understanding uh, the, um, the makeup of a variety of uh, disease from the molecular uh, standpoint. Uh, Josh Hare uh, came a few years ago uh, from uh, Hopkins where he was directing the most advanced uh, stem cell um, uh, center for uh, cardiovascular illnesses and is um, uh, 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 now by far the most uh, cutting edge uh, individual in the area of uh, stem cells for repair of, um, of heart. He's, he actually has another major uh, meeting going on at the same time, so I hope that uh, we're going to have both sides of his brains at uh, this meeting. And, uh, and then uh, Eddie Di Marcena, who um, is a, a uh, who's, um, sorry, role, roles at UM, uh, uh, Josh Hare is the director of the Interdisciplinary Stem Cell Institute, an institute that uh, um, basically uh, brings together experts in uh, all area of development of uh, stem cells. In for all uh, uh, disorders, not just the cardiovascular, so so it really um, has a totally unique expertise. Um, and then Eddie Dimachena, who is the uh, chairman of our practice, also a cardiologist um, and um, uh, extraordinary entrepreneur, who has developed a number of technologies and devices. And so, um, uh, uh, as you can tell, a group that um, has both um, substantial clinical experience but also uh, substantial um, uh, research and investigative um, uh, expertise. So.